presenting the adventures of Jungle Jim. Last week, while Peter Hawkins listened to the ravings of his unconscious son, Ronnie, Shanghai Lil went into the jungle and met Jim near the old mine, despite Bhutan's orders forbidding her to leave the camp. She gave Jim the evidence which she had collected against Bhutan and told him that the prince was suspicious of her. As they talked, Bhutan, who had followed her, approached with his men. Jungle Jim ran back toward the mine without being seen, but Lil was captured. The thrilling adventures of Jungle Jim are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The Comic Weekly, each page printed in full color, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. And now we continue our story. It is a short time after Bhutan surprised Lil near the old mine. Jungle Jim has fled, and Botan is furious at Lil's disobedience. You deliberately disobeyed my orders, Miss Tivril. I warned you not to leave the camp. But, Prince, you can hardly call this going into the jungle. I saw the entrance to the old mine, and it interested me, so I walked over to it. Ever since you came here, you have seen fit to do as you please. That's not true. Why, you offered to show me your emerald mines the day I arrived. Yes, I remember. And you seemed interested. Far too interested. Well... This old mine seems to have a fatal fascination for you, Mr. Vril. Can you explain why? Only because it's... Don't lie! There is someone hiding here. Someone who is working with you as a spy. I intend to find that man so that both of you can die together. (laughs) You're crazy, Prince. There's no one here. We shall see. Gunha! Yes, master. The men are searching the jungle? Yes, master. Good. Now we will search the old mine together. That's a good idea, Prince. I'd like to go with you. I have no thought of denying you that pleasure, Mr. Vril. You shall have your wish with a gun at your back. A gun? You think I'd try to run away? It is merely a precaution. (laughs) If there is one false move on the part of your confederate, you shall die. Lead the way into the mine, Gunha. You're making a mistake, Prince. My only mistake was in listening to you in the first place. I have learned much about you since then, Mr. Vril. You've lied to me from the beginning. Why, how... Your trip here was deliberate. Your only mistake was in using a government plane. You're being unfair. It wasn't my fault that my plane crashed near here. It might interest you to know that my men have found the parachute you and your confederate landed with. I know that two people were in that plane. There were two parachutes in the plane. I got the second after the crash and used it as a covering the night I spent in the jungle. (laughs) That's another of your lies, as was your statement that you saw no one at your window. I've told you before it was one of your own slaves. If so, then he will be the one to die with you. Gunha, light the torch and go ahead. Yes, my father. There's no one in this place, Bhutan. Look at the cobweb. My father. See, there has been fire there. So, how do you explain that, Miss Vril? Why should I explain it? Those ashes may have been here for months. I don't know what happened here before I came. Those ashes are but a few days old. Well, what about your own men? You have sentries in the jungle. Oh, let's get out of this place. I don't like dirt and cobwebs. Martha, Martha, come. My hand is up Oh, Look out! Bring him out of the house. There is no one, Martha. Only clothes that they give. <laughs> I knew there was no one here. Then why did you call out? I was startled, that's all. You cried out a warning because you thought we had found the man you have been seeing. Miss Devril, you are a spy. Why did you say that just because you found a bundle of clothes? These clothes have been used as a disguise by your confederate. He was the man at your window. You can't prove that, Prince Bhutan. I don't have to prove it. I have my own way of dealing with spies. Remember, I warned you that if you entered the jungle, it would mean death. (laughs) Later the same day, Myra Trent approaches the hut of Peter Hawkins. Mr. Hawkins. Who's there? It's I, Myra Trent. Come to the window. Oh, I'm in the street. I'm glad you've come. 
What's happened? I don't know, Mr. Hawkins, but there's something going on. Yes. Mr. Veal has been locked in her room. So, oh, Tom, don't trust her. Miss Trent, I think you're going to see some action before long. What do you mean? The authorities are here. Colo came to the window yesterday and gave me a secret signal. A secret signal? Yes. Haven't you heard about it? No. Colo was here and gone before I could ask him a question. But he told me the door of this hut would be unlocked. And when I heard the panther scream, I was to follow the moon. Why, Mr. Hawkins, that means you'll be free. Yes. Oh, you've got to take me with you. Now, don't worry about that. There's something going on, Miss Trent. I know it. My boy, Ronnie, talked to someone in the jungle, he told me. Mr. Hawkins, is Ronnie all right? No. The lad's been out of his head since Bhutan beat him. He's been mumbling and raving. But you said... It was in his ravings that he told me. Ronnie met someone in the jungle. Someone as knows me and knows him. Who could that be? I don't think. Ronnie said that a man ripped open his shirt, looked at the scar on his chest, and told him that he was Dr. Ronald Hawkins of London. And Ronnie understood? I'm not sure. But here's something else. The same man told Ronnie that I was a prisoner in this camp. But who could know that? There's only one man, Miss Trent. You mean? Jungle Jim Bradley. But he's dead. Then there's only one other answer. Jungle Jim told Dr. Carstairs, the government representative, or he left instructions with him in case anything happened. That's it. It must be. And Carstairs is the man your son met in the jungle. Yes. Well, that all ties up with something else that happened. What? Tell me about it. Yesterday, I was in Mr. Veal's room, and she came in. Go on. Right after that, someone tapped on the window. Yes. She opened it. Well, who was it? Did you see him? No. Mr. Veal had sent me away, but she talked with whomever was there. Are you sure it wasn't Kolu? Yes, I'm sure. I could tell from his voice he was a white man. Well, did you hear anything that was said? No, I didn't have a chance to. Ah. Bhutan interrupted them before they could say much. I see. The man ran into the jungle, and Bhutan's men fired at him. It's the authorities. I'm sure of it. They're here. Do you really think so, Mr. Hawkins? I'm sure of it. I'm sure of something else, too. Miss DeVreel is a member of a secret service. She's here getting evidence. But if that's true, why is she and Prince Bhutan so friendly? Now, that's part of her game. It all adds up, Miss Trent. I knew I'd heard her name somewhere. You know who she is? I think so. And I want to find out. I want you to find out. How? What do you want me to do? Well, I think that she's Shang I Lil, Jungle Jim Bradley's friend. Now, the next time you see her, I want you to call her by that name. Shang I Lil. Listen. Oh, there's someone coming. They mustn't catch me here. Get out of sight. Get out of sight. Mr. Prince, Myra, wait. Myra, Myra, wait. Myra. No, let me go. Myra. No, no. Be careful, Myra. Not so loud. Someone will hear you. Oh, Jungle Jim Bradley. No, no, it can't be. Myra, it is. Listen to me. No, you are shocked. They said you were dead. That's right. They think I'm dead, but I'm not. Oh. I'm very much alive. Then, then you were the one at Mr. Veal's window. Who sounds men shot at you? And miss, thank goodness. Now, listen carefully, Myra. We can't talk long. And I want you to take a message to Lil and Kolo. Lil? Is she really Shanghai Lil? How'd you find that out? Mr. Hawkins suspected it. Prince Bhutan has her locked in her room. I was afraid something like that would happen. Bhutan nearly caught us talking together in the jungle. Oh. Now listen, Myra. I want you to tell Kolu to listen for the signal tonight. The panther cry? That's it. Tell him when he hears it to come to me at the edge of the jungle near the mine. I'll get the message to him. But what about Mr. Real? Tell her that I'm sending Kolu away. You're sending him away? Yes. He's going for help. I want to get him to Doomba Pass before morning. Oh, I see. I must get away now before I'm seen. It's up to you now, Myra. If you deliver the message, Bhutan will be our prisoner within a week. That night, Myra Trent makes her way to the room where Lily DeVril is held prisoner. Mr. DeVril. Who is it? Myra Trent. Are you alone? Of course. What do you want? I'm coming in. What are you doing here? Don't you realize that if we get caught, we'll be in worse trouble than we are now? I have a message for you, Shanghai Lil. Who told you to call me that? Jungle Jim Bradley. So... You found your boyfriend. Well, what's the message? Please, Mr. Veal. I know who you are now and why you've been acting as you have. I'm willing to trust you and be friends. Well, I'm not. Say what you've got to say and get out of here. I don't want you around. Suppose I refuse to tell you. 
two can play your game, you know. If you've got a message, give it to me, or I'll choke it out of you with my bare hands, you little fool. You can't frighten me, Shanghai Lil. But I'll tell you, because it's for the good of all of us. I promised Jim I would. And you wouldn't break your promise, would you, girl scout? All right, what's the message? Jim is sending Kolu for help. Probably tonight. He wanted you to know that Kolu would be missing in the morning. He's taking matters into his own hands, is he? It's time he did, Mr. Ville. Now I'll leave you. Good night. I'm locking the door behind me. What is the meaning oh. of this? Oh, Prince Bouton. Why did you unlock this door and enter here, Miss Trent? Well, this woman asked me to. That's a lie. Silence. Continue, Miss Trent. She heard me outside and called me to unlock the door. Yes? I did, but I refused to let her out. Slave, if I ever get my hands on you... You've I... had enough, Miss Vril. Evidently, I can trust you, Miss Trent. I heard this prisoner call you a fool and threaten you. Of course I called her a fool. She is. She came in here snooping. Why isn't she kept in the slave quarters instead of being allowed in the house at night? Ah, you've given me an excellent idea, Miss Vril. Well, it's about time. Miss Trent... How would you like to have a slave? What do you mean? We will reverse your position. You are now the mistress, and Miss Vril is your slave. But I don't want a slave. Do you think you can get away with anything like that, Prince Bhutan? You will obey me and your new mistress, or you will die. <laughs> you never make a slave of me. Ah, you prefer death at the whipping post as a spy. You can make your own choice. You have no right to accuse me of being a spy. We discussed that this morning. You are clever, Miss Vril. But not clever enough. Those whom you serve should have warned you that none who have entered the Tiger's Claw territory have ever returned. <laughs> you will be no exception. You won't get away with this, Bhutan. Silence, slave. If you defy me, I will shoot you now. You haven't the nerve. No, please don't shoot Prince Bhutan. Don't worry, you little fool. He won't. You have defied me for the last time, Mr. Brill. Now you die. Oh, the signal. <laughs> Will Kolo escape from the camp and get through to Jim, or will they both be caught? And what of Shanghai Lil? Is Bhutan planning to kill her? The adventures you have just heard dramatized will appear in full-color action pictures in the Comic Weekly, the big Comic Weekly distributed with your Hearst Sunday newspaper everywhere. In the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure, you will find all the famous characters who live in the world of color pictures. There's Skippy, and the Katzenyammer Kids, Jiggs and Maggie, Barney Google. Schutz and Casper, the Little King, Flash Gordon, and the famous page, Gags and Gals. See all these famous characters in your copy of next Sunday's Comic Weekly. And don't forget our date next week. Same time, same station, for a continuation of the adventures of Jungle Jim. Jungle Jim.